we've got the long 4th of July holiday weekend coming up and hopefully some warmer temperatures too. But with all of that, that means we're going to be going outside and that means we're going to be exposed to more bugs that can bite. But did you know that bug spray could be possibly harmful for you? But there are some other alternatives to keep you safe from all of those little critters. And that is why we have Crystal Seltzer from Bestier University here to kind of show us some of those alternatives. But first, let's talk about bug spray. What is bad about it? Well, most bug sprays contain DEET, and um, research has found that DEET actually can act as a neural toxin, especially when it's combined with other insecticides. And typically, uh, your over-counter bug sprays have not just DEET, but they have other insecticides, so that potential for a neural toxin is increased. Okay, and what can a neurotoxin do? It affects your nervous system, and just like it does to bugs and kind of slows them down and does weird things to them, it can do weird things to you, and you can um, have potential uh, side effects from that. Okay, well you brought some alternatives too and I'm kind of smelling them too. I was just mentioning to you how good it smells, right. so that's some good news there. What are some alternatives to the regular bug spray? Right. Two of my favorite um, kind of natural bug sprays that actually work really well are um, the All Terrain um, Herbal Armor and um, the Badger. Um, uh, herbal uh, uh, bug block. Uh, this one actually contains a sunscreen in it, so it kind of works as that natural sunscreen and anti-bug as well. And both of them are extremely effective and as effective as DEET. Okay, when you're looking for ingredients, is there something you should look for? So you'll notice with the natural bug repellents, they're gonna contain essential oils as their um, anti-bug insect repelling property. And one of, the mon uh, one of the main essential oils would be citronella. Um, both of these products contain at least 10% citronella. Um, so it's a combination of different essential oils that kind of have this broad range insect repelling uh, properties. All right, anything else maybe if somebody is completely holistic or natural that yeah. they can use? You can easily make your own um, bug repellent. Um, so what I've done is filled a four ounce size spray bottle with water and then um, I like to put in a combination of at least four different essential oils. So some essential oils that have really well known insect repelling properties would be citronella, or lemongrass, or cedar wood, or sandalwood. That's what I'm smelling. Right, it smells lavender, really good. sweet orange. So you've got a number of different ones. I like to choose four so you get a broad range insect repelling. And then you're gonna put 10 to 12 drops per ounce. So about 40 drops in this four ounce bottle. You shake it before you use it, and then you can spray it on the body, you can spray it on your clothes. You wanna keep in mind that you're probably gonna need to spritz a little bit more frequently than with some of the harder hitting ones, but they work just as effective. Okay, anything you should avoid that maybe bugs would be attracted to? Um, you know, perfumes, sweet smelling things, they tend to be a little bit more attracted to that. So when I go camping, I tend not to wear my perfumes and I tend to wear my anti-bug perfume. Yeah. Um, but actually you can make a nice bug spray that smells very pleasant and isn't, uh, you know, isn't warding off for you or the people you're camping with. And as always, probably check with your doctor first before you start anything new. Um, you can do that. The best way to do it is you can actually do a patch test on yourself to see if you're allergic to any of those essential oils. You simply dilute the essential oil one drop in a quarter of a teaspoon of a vegetable oil apply a little bit to your inside crook of your arm or the back of the neck if it turns red you're sensitive to it if it starts burning or itching or really really red then you probably should avoid it um, but that way you can tell which ones you're combining and whether you're sensitive to it or not Chris. if you have any questions you can contact Bastier or I actually teach uh, classes on herbal medicine making as well crystal thank you so much so many alternatives who knew yeah, All right. thank you thank you